Daddy, you don't know who we are. Your boy, Mel. And yes, he. Hell yeah. Bear, boys and girls, it's the fourth week in the road, baby. Fourth. We're about to get it. We're about to get some money. But from the boogies. You're about to get some money to the yeah, We're about to get some money from the boogies. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, first things first. Thank you for the views. Thank you for the likes. But we need some more comments. Yeah. Sasha Pitches. We need it. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right, Sam. Get those lazy fingers some energy. It's and, free. Uh, it, it's free. And uh, um, say something. Say, hey, Mel, you can fix a little bit of your tone or your accent. Say whatever the fuck you want. But say something, goddammit. All right, so we are going to start. We got a, we got a very exciting card in our hands, man. Woof. Like to say, I'm uh, just... Jerry Project. Shevchenko versus Talia uh, Santos. Talia Santos. Oh, and Wayley Sam versus Jordan. Uh, Joanna, Joanna Jordek. Ooh. Yeah, Peter Montoya really excited. It's fire. It, this one is in fire, baby. Yeah. Now, let's start with the first fight of the night. Yeah. It's Pasquale versus Edwards. This is not our pick, but let me just say, you know our goal, if you got some ground game, yeah. Chances are you're gonna get it. But then again, we're talking about the ladies, and sometimes they don't wanna show their IQ. They just wanna pull hair, pull guys, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> and uh, I do see Pasquale probably taking this one, but Edwards is yeah, not, it's, it's a very hard cookie to crack. She's yeah. a tough cookie, boys and girls. But then again, Pasquale has a ground game. She likes to take people to deep water. Mm -hmm. However, Edwards has, has done, she doesn't like, she, it seems that she doesn't like to do that, but when she has done it, she has kept her opponents no. on their backs. Yeah. This lady's is strong, but like I said, it's not our picks, so we are going to move to the next fight of the night between Miss Na and Miss Gomez Juarez. Again, this is not our pick. I can see not taking this one. You all know it's the same as scenario as the first one, but I honestly think now it's gonna take this one and Miss Gomez Juarez is not gonna be able to stop her. Nah is not kidding around. This girl was born on the ground, <laughs> fed on the ground, <laughs> and still fighting on the ground. So it's gonna be if you take her if you take her takedown average, it's like seven times. Yeah. It's like seven, six point ninety six. That scares me is that is uh, Juarez a uh, uh, he has some power. Yeah. For a lady, he she has on them. He she, I agree with that. She so definitely has some power. The best bet out there would be if fight doesn't go to decision or the owner of one point five. But no picks for us. Over there. No picks for us over there. So we're gonna move to the next one. And our first pick of the night, yeah. baby, Mr. King Again. versus Dana. Dana or Dana, whatever you want. I think it's Dana. Dana. Yeah, Dana. I think so. <laughs> I think it's that's not how it is. Now, I do see that Dana is a dangerous in the I hit really football. hard with the left. And he definitely hits really hard. But if this fight touch the ground, Dana is not going to have, like, <laughs> and he has been taken down in the past in the UFC. So, you know, like, we think that, Dan that Dana can keep, like, taken down. So, you know, he's going to be, like, in the ground this fight. And we see that can, 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 like he, on the can, can definitely needs to uh, show his IQ here and now. Uh, mm -hmm. Dana has better striking than he does, but when it comes to the ground game, Ken has it. However, Ken can actually trade some blows with this guy because he's got some reach a little bit above Dana, but he shouldn't trade for so mm -hmm. long. Trade mm -hmm. enough to take this guy to the ground, and that's it. What I'm trying to say is that he, he can easily keep it a bait and then yeah, and the rich. Take him to the ground. Yeah, and fake the takedown. So. Yeah. And uh, we are picking Kang on this one. That's our first so pick. Of that's the night. our first pick of the night. And uh, we're going to move to the next fight. It's a very exciting fight, yeah. by the way. It's Mr. Yeah. Fialo, Again. which is looking yeah. like a monster. This guy's looking Matthews. insane versus Matthews. This is really tough, guys. This is, this is one of those fights that they're kind of even. When it comes to the reach, a little bit on the high side, you know, and on the, um, on the height uh, size. 
Fiala could destroy this guy in two rounds. Yes. But this guy could also I'll take rap him. I'll wrap all Fialo, take him to the ground because this guy has a lot of winnings through submissions. Yeah. And Fialo we Fialo's see that when he goes to like the third round he doesn't have that power anymore. Mm -hmm. So you know like if Matthew like have a good game plan and tire Fialo out. He, he, should, he should be able yeah. to take it. Should be. But if Fialo caught him in the, in the first round. Yeah, if he over. gets him once, it's 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 a wrap. So, so you know, it's, there's better fights, so don't put your money at risk. Mm -hmm. The sure. next fight we have Mahaste Mahaste from China against Steve Garcia. In this fight, we love Garcia because they the grappling and we saw that Mahaste doesn't have really good takedown defense so nope. Garcia will be taking down a lot of time over there so I think that this one is really easy for Garcia mm -hmm. the next one Mel, I know that you like that Isn't one. Garcia our pick? Yeah Garcia our pick, I said it no? Yeah. Garcia is the second pick of the night. Yeah. The, the next fight is gonna be between Choi versus Kaliba. Kuliba, my bad. Kuliba. Now this is one of those fights that like the height it's yeah. Uh, it's on favor of Choi, you know, just a couple of inches. And then when it comes to the striking, they are kind of similar. And the power is there. I do see, judging from who Kuliba has faced, because he has faced guys that has 20 something wins and five, six, seven losses only, and he has taken the fights. Uh, he has actually won those fights. I kind of see Kuliba taking that, but again, Choi. It's a tough customer. It's a tough customer, man. Yeah. This guy is it's 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 not a joke around. And uh when it comes to takedown average, even though they both don't like it, you can see these guys are gonna do a stand up fight. It's gonna be a stand up um, fight. And Kulibao hit harder. So yeah. you know it, it just depends on, on how Choi is gonna react to yeah. Kulibao, how and it's gonna be his, his head movement yeah. and uh but it, I kind of see Kulibar taking this one because of his experience fighting fighters that have won at least 20 something fights. That's what, that's, that's my opinion. It's not a fact. But like I said, Choi can take it too. So let's move to the next one. This is we also. Have Brandon Allen. Our third pick, right? Yeah, the third pick. The third pick of the Yacoub night. Malcolm. We are gonna bet again, Allen. This guy always that I bet him, he lose, and when I fight him, he wins. So I am kind of scared on him because all the time that I have been betting him, I have been losing. So, but you know, like this guy Macum, the only that he can do is take people to the ground. And um, Brandon Allen is a really good black belt in BJJ, and he was the only guy that had to meet Kevin Holland. And if you see his fight when the fight is on the ground. He sweeps and he get on top. So I think that this guy can like take a win. I mean, this fight go with stand up. We saw what Brandon Allen did to Ponelele Soriano. So mm -hmm. mind what he can do to Malcolm. So you know this one, Brandon Allen with confidence. Yeah, pretty much Malcolm's game plan here is to try to take this guy to deep water. However, that this guy has like he doesn't take he doesn't like going into the ground. It doesn't mean that he yeah. he's not able. He's able because we have seen him. Mm -hmm. He's able. And I think Allen still is gonna outmatch Macron yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, but Allen needs to be very careful with this guy because yeah. this guy is gonna apply pressure by mm -hmm. taking him to the ground as many times as possible. But we know Allen can defend that. The next fight we have for me one of the more exciting fights. And he's opened the perfect view, Jack de la Meda de Lena against Ramazan and me. This guy from Dagestan, so you know what's gonna happen. He's gonna take it to the ground to it. Mac de la Meda Lena, but we have seen like Medalena pop up real quick and he has good uh, uh, striking. Mm -hmm. If the fight is, is stay on like a stand up, it's gonna be Mac de la Lena mm -hmm. all day. Mm -hmm. But if a me can uh, take to the ground uh, Mandela is going to be a big, big day for him. Mm -hmm. so but it's going to be a bye-bye Mandela if <laughs> this guy bye -bye takes him to the ground. It's as simple as that. This motherfucker's my fair right, guys. Yeah. Uh, we don't have to say anything else. But what can we say, bro? And he has to be on his corner. Oh, yeah. The Chico, Chico bro. Yeah. <laughs> or if he, if he doesn't live with that Chico, <laughs> I'm going to be... 
going to be a lot of problems, baby. All right, so the next fight is between Bontorin versus Kate. Yeah. This fight is straight up. Looks like a Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Son of fucking bitches fight. This guy I jacked. Yeah. They're going to finish each other. I One of these is going to do this. Yeah, I think and you know that's something that... Hey, make this up. Hey, make this up. going to be crazy. I was uh, reading today that K was on steroids. He was taking like a... It's a, like a vitamin or something that is illegal here in US, but how the fights are in Singapore, they don't have like any control or, or nothing, so he can fight. Usada doesn't have any control over there? Yeah, they cannot control because Usada is inside of the United States and the fights are in Singapore, so he's in Singapore. So you know, this guy is gonna fight on juice. Oh, so. I think that he can win. He's yeah. Right. So what the juice does is. All right, so uh, like, just does not give you skill, but it does give you a little like bit more stamina, and adrenaline, and, ad yeah. adrenaline, and then you 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 go, you're gonna keep on going for a little bit longer than usual and more aggressive. Yeah. That's what the juice usually does to to uh, to an athlete. That's, that's why crazy. Like they can fight when they are on the juice. Yeah, but he's taking. He's you say he took he took some vitamins and. Uh -huh. Uh, and, and it, inside those vitamins, that's what uh, the, the, yeah, the juices. The juices, like like I wouldn't qualify it as a real juice. Usada does qualify that as a real. I don't yeah. know what it is, but when it comes to like steroids, ste steroids does come in pills sometimes, but it's really bad if you take them. Yeah, you told me pills what happened with the liver. Belfort with the, the, the because of the yeah yeah. Uh, look, uh, I think this fight is gonna be crazy. Just fight doesn't go to the seat. JC saying this. Yeah, and this guy looking like this, this is gonna be a straight up Mortal Kombat. Bow, yeah. bow, fight. That's bow, it. Bow, 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 and now we are getting closer to the last three fights of the night yeah. and the most exciting ones, fellas. And it's a rematch. And it's a rematch. And the first one is Chang Wei Li. Chang Wei Li versus Joanna Jordak. I love Joanna Jordak. And I do love Willy Zhang. And Willy Zhang has on her corner the cringe Henry Cejudo, the, the goat. The goat, baby. And, uh, you know. That's a cheap goat. That's a cheap goat right there. I do respect Joanna Jack. This lady does not know how to quit. But she yesterday. She has been out for two years. I was telling you, yeah. see that uh, yesterday I was watching an interview of uh, Daniel Cormier. He was getting interviewed by, I cannot remember this guy's name. I didn't mean to be disrespecting by not remembering his name. but. This guy uh, was interviewing Cormier, and he, Cormier was saying that uh, Joanna Jodek is not only successful, has not only been successful in MMA, she has been successful outside the ring, so in business. And this is how I take it. When somebody tells me, if I'm gonna, if, I'm, if somebody's gonna fight me, and I'm a fighter, just plain fighter, and I've been fighting at the top of the food chain, <laughs> and I'm not taking care of any, of any, of any, of any other business, and I get it, you are a, a fighter that's been outside of the business for two years, but you have a business somewhere else that you have been successful. You're coming back, you probably will not be the same. And the reason for that is because you're now you're comfortable because you're you are making no money. You are a business, you are a business owner that's actually been successful outside of the ring. So it doesn't matter to you if you lose it, if you lose it or win it. If you lose it or win it at, at that point, because you are successful. You know, you, you know you got some pillows hmm. waiting for you when you jump. You see what I'm saying? If you have nothing to lose, I will say maybe Yuan is gonna be uh, gonna be the break of Wally's hand. But That's no after way. he said that, my opinion completely shifted because now she probably feels feels comfortable, doesn't feel pressured. That's me just talking. Maybe I'm just wrong here, and maybe Joanna will beat the crap out of Wally's hand. But my, in my opinion, and Jay-Z's opinion as well. We completely agree that Sam Wei Lee is going to take this one. Yeah, so that's our fourth pick, pick. Fourth pick of the night. Mm -hmm. And the next fight of the night, baby. We Ooh. have the gold. The gold of all females, baby. Yeah, Valentina the Chechenko. The queen of hearts herself. Yes. Miss Chechenko versus Talia Santos. Talia Santos. Not disrespect versus Talia, uh, to Talia Santos, but baby, listen, you were better not fighting me yeah. than fighting Chechenko. This lady, like, if you see like her profile, so what, uh, so who she has been beating is not like any caliber of the Chechenko list that she has. 
you know, the last fight that she got was a uh, Jojo that's already half 36 years old. So mm-hmm. she is getting like in the line because the people are getting older. So mm-hmm. you know, like, but you know, she's a good fighter, but I don't think that she's in the level of Chechenko. Oh, of course not. Man. Of course Chechenko not. has been fighting since she is four years old. However, she, she, yeah. There you go. Yeah, you know. There you go. However, she's there to fight Chechenko for a reason. She's been beating everybody else. Yeah. But, like JC said, Chechenko has been fighting since she's four, four years, years old. Dude. And she keeps training and training. That's her life. She doesn't have a boyfriend. A, a That's what we don't know. Husband. That's what we don't know. Bro, but she, I watch the, uh, her Instagram all the time. Like, she doesn't do nothing. She's always training and doing. You I know. get it. I, I get it. But she, she, she needs to be getting some diggity dig. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 He has to be getting some, man. Listen, well, like, maybe she doesn't like the dick. Uh, she like apples. Well, but she's getting some. She has to be getting something. Listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> we can't, we can't just assume. I get it. I get it. She, she's, she's living for training. Yeah. But listen, when that training is over, you don't know. Listen, nothing is coming through that Man door. Thing. He's getting fucked. Okay, let's change it up. <laughs> so let's go to the main event of the okay, evening. evening, baby. It's gonna be between Mr. Texera okay. versus Giddy. Bro, bro that's tough. You guys know our rule. We yeah. don't bet on the main event. And we are not doing it on this one. Yeah. The only way that I'm gonna do it in the main event, because I know that it's for sure, fight doesn't go to a seat show. This fight doesn't gonna last 25 minutes. Dude, listen, if Billy Texera beats this guy by anything, bro. by anything, which I, no disrespect to Teixeira, he's, he's done the impossible already. He's done, he's done the impossible already. Or oh, they throw some, old. they throw somebody at him. <laughs> that that this most, guy. If he, do you mind that he lands the same elbow that he lands to a uh, Ray? No, it's over, dude. I mean, Teixeira has been knocked out before, but that's the thing. Teixeira has lost fights. He gets up, beat him up, and keeps him moving forward. Like this old it's man. Lonely. No disrespect to you, brother. I love you. Like you are one of my top fighters. You owe him a t-shirt. I you owe him a t-shirt. I, I know that. I love him to death, bro. And my respect for this guy. I respect this guy more than I respect my old father, dude. That's 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 just putting it that way. If he really beats Prochaska. Bro. Shit, if they allow me, I'll probably change my, 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 my last name to Texeda. <laughs> you can do it, bro. You're in the United States. You can do whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? Do it. Uh, yeah, GD is a monster, bro. Yeah. It's just, GD is just one of those fighters. Like I said before, I, I, I've told you this a couple of times. First combat sports f- uh, movie that I saw, me, not the first one, but it kind of was, it Google. was kickboxing by yeah. Dan Claude Van Damme and the guy that does Tom Poe. That's who Jimmy Prochaska reminds me of. I was scared to death of Tom Poe when he was eating that column with and the yeah, with freaking the tibia. Yeah. That's who Jimmy Prochaska reminds me. But do you think that someone can really do that in real life? Man? I've seen people hitting concrete. Yeah, I mean, all like that. Not to that level, but oh. you have to see some shit. That you should you should look for some to send the stuff on the net. There's a lot of shit. Yeah, I see people like, like I tell you, you know, like, with legs, yeah. like breathing I've like coconut, people, the coconut tree. I've seen people with four by four I don't. hitting their tibia hard, but they've been trained. Yeah, for years and for years. years and years and years. Not like it's like Tony, it's like Tony Ferguson with the the his elbow. The only thing that I did hard that I kicked when I was a boy when I was training, we have uh, we were uh, training hot keto, and this training will bring us a semi brand new car tire okay. without the rim okay. and we will kick it and that shit hurt but after like two weeks yeah, we can. were just get, our leg will get hurt yeah, will get red but there was no pain so I'm telling you there's some individuals out there that can do amazing crazy stuff now going back to the fight I wish they say that the best but it's gonna be a tough fight. I think that if they say they can take to the ground for a chance, yes, it's gonna absolutely, be absolutely. But, but that is, is the not thing. Giri, Giri, Giri is not the guy and the kind of dude that's gonna let him do that. Yeah, and also Giri is really awkward on his stand up. Like he fight with his da- with his hands down. You know, he's really awkward. Mm-hmm. And dude, and and, and the, I was always talking. We always talking about this. There are certain fighters that bring an aura yeah. to their adversaries. 
when they fight. That and guy is a That guy is one of those. That he yeah. brings his energy, Somewhere like right. completely yeah. overtakes the other guy. I don't think he's gonna intimidate uh, Texera, but look, dude, what this guy did to Dominic Reyes, I almost, I almost went to Jay-Z's bathroom and started crying. I thought that he was dead. We thought he was dead. Sure. Because how he fall like like this, I was scared. That's it. That elbow? Yeah. And that's the first time he does For me, game. that is the first knockout that I have ever seen in UFC. Maybe there is more, but for me, that I have seen it, that Trust one me, was crazy. Trust me, there's a lot of knockouts right now, but that one was brutal. Cool yeah. I agree, that one was brutal. Cool Texada has a lot of fight on the his belt, and a lot of people he has gone through. Okay, let's wrap it up. Yeah. The fight should start at 6 p.m. Easter time, so it will be 6 a.m. in Singapore. So just letting you know, guys. If you are on the juice right now, you're in your you should have fought on that time. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. will be hiding from me, Sarah. The first, the first fight, the first pick is gonna be Kong Hu Ken. The second pick is gonna be Steve Garcia. The third pick is gonna be Brandon Allen. The fourth pick is gonna be Chan Wei Li. And the f fifth pick and lock of the night, Valentina Chechenko. I hope, guys, that we can get another clean sweep that we got last week. I hope so. I hope so that you have fun, that you like the channels, like, subscribe, follow, share, and all the good stuff. Okay? I right, catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye. bye, -bye.